Hi fellow key shooter, here's a way to create a tortoise shell material. Inside Keyshot, right click the material that you want to edit and go to edit material graph. Inside the graph, select the uh, surface material and in the material type drop down, change it to the electric, which is a advanced type of glass solid. What we can do in here is to map the transmission color and what we want to do is to use a granite procedural texture to do that so i right click an empty space in the graph go to textures and select granite here we go so i'll go ahead and connect that to the transmission input like that and it already starts to look promising i double click the granite texture and i go to the color and find some, something close to the uh, usual tortoise shell look. All right, something brown like this. It's too transparent at the moment, so I will go ahead and double click the, the electric material here and change the transparency distance of this material to maybe 0.5 or 0.4. All right, so I go back to the granite texture hit C on the keyboard to be able to see what it looks like. And I can see that the scale is quite big at the moment. I want it to be smaller. So I take the scale, drag it down to maybe six or four, depending on the look that you are going for. So when I hit C again on the keyboard, we start to get this very recognizable look. With the granite texture, you only have the option to adjust one color. If you want to be able to adjust both colors, what you can do is to right click, go to textures and add in a color gradient. Connect the granite texture to the map in the color gradient node and connect the color gradient node to the transmission input here on the dielectric material. Double click the color gradient and hit C on the keyboard. And you now see that we have two colors, black and white, and we have black and white here on the gradient as well. Meaning that whatever I change the white color to here will also change in the real-time view. So let's pick a bright brown orange color like that. And for the black one here, let's go with a deep red, brownish red as well. Go to the scale and the shift and adjust to work with the balance of these two colors. So I take the scale up to be able to see more of the yellow or the bright color and the same with the shift here. So by adjusting these, you can really fine tune the look of your tortoise shell material. When I'm happy, I hit C on the keyboard again to exit this preview. And still, I think it's a bit too bright. So I would go to the transmission, um, to the electric material and take the transparency distance even more down and I'll also give the material just a tiny bit of roughness. It's really shiny at the moment. So this is looking a bit more realistic. And I will take this bright color here and make it darker. It seems a bit too bright at the moment. So let me take the value down here. Something like that. Maybe a bit more reddish. All right, so that starts to look really nice and maybe take the scale of the granite texture down even further. So it's looking good, but at the moment the uh, effect is not very, or it's not too visible. So let me go ahead and try and make it a bit more visible. I take the scale up just a bit, uh, change this color here to white, so it will map a bit better. Because we use this color gradient anyways to adjust the color, so let me try and make this red brighter. And again, now I have to readjust the uh, scale. Let me put that up to one and shift here. All right, so let me make this one darker. Let's go really dark, something like that. And hit C on the keyboard to see what that looks like. And now I maybe have to take the trans transparency distance up again. So now we start to get this effect way more pronounced than before. So as you see, there's a lot of balancing going on with these uh, different colors and the transparency distance as well. 
but eventually you should be able to get to the specific look that you are going for. Thanks a lot for having a look. I hope that you learned something from this tutorial. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done already to see more content like this in the future. Until next time, take care.